it's the king king j back with another video as you know tuesday they always release a tekken 8 trailer of a character that has been revealed but we need to see the gameplay and it's tuesday we see that lee charlan is the new character again that they're revealing so let's have a look at it let me not talk too much if you subscribed i appreciate you if you ain't come on man let's see what's going on let's see what's going on Oh man. Nah, we're not doing this quality. What's going on? Put it on that 4K, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, we're gonna do the breakdown afterwards, innit? But yeah, let's get into it. I can't believe slide doesn't knock on the other side. Sick. Oh, his downfall too looks different. Oh, I never noticed that effect that his thing drops down. His frame. Frame picture, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, they have an intro. Yo. That intro looks cold. And his combos look easier as well. It's not like the back two stuff. Is that a just frame? Thirteen. Nod. That nah, we need to we need to we need to have a look at it again. <laughs> so he says, "Hey, Hachi." I oh, know that's funny. That's actually funny. That's actually funny. All right, cool, cool. We cool yeah that is very very interesting i can't lie to you that is very very funny listen i'm not gonna lie to you that trailer was better than i expected i thought we're gonna they're gonna show us the slide they're gonna show us like the just frame stuff that he has in heat you know that we know from the move list already but there's more to unpack so this is the part of the video where we're gonna unpack and see what is going on in the video and we're going to talk about it and break it down so let's get into it so first things first we're gonna go back to the trailer he's called silverhead demon he's being called out from tekken 2 silverhead demon the the violet systems it's like he's wearing this gear like fighting gear violet system as you can see on the shoulder patch it says violet systems and he's kind of got this it looks like the steam icon i'm not even gonna lie but yeah I don't know about all of this costume. I know people like his suit and stuff like that. And, you know, his traditional stuff. But I like the fact that they changed him. In Tekken 2, he kind of had this punk outfit. If you look at the intro of Tekken 1, he's, <clears throat> he's driving, like, you know, a fast car. And he's quite a flashy guy, a flashy dude. Now he's wearing this kind of, like, he looks like Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. He's wearing this fighting combat armor. I like it. It's different. Time to test our company's newest product so for context if people for the people that may not know about lee he's trying to build this robot this ultimate robot fighting robot called combat and you know in tekken 8 he's now kind of like championing this combat in gameplay as you can see you know he, he does it in the rage the rage art uh where he just throws the head and explodes and it's got this like flower blossom Thing. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah, this is that head thing is called combat. I didn't realize this guy has guns and stuff on his costumes. Like, like you know, he has a handgun. He has, looks like a is that a submachine gun? Like he has on the other side. I don't know how I feel about these two costumes, if I'm honest. But maybe it's got something to do with the actual storyline. I don't know. Alright, so 
here's here's another thing so slide doesn't go on the other side like it does in tekken 7 and all the other games like all this when he's had slide it usually goes on the other side for some reason it's just plus three now so he has this while standing one move and maybe the while standing one is zero or plus one because he then does a count it move usually you try to do a move to make your opponent feel like you know it's their turn but if that move is like 10 frames another one is plus one that means the move comes out in nine frames there's a video coming about coming out about frames later on in the video so if you want to learn tekken and learn about frames please you know subscribe and you know check out the videos that are coming out but yeah this looks like a plus frame the wild one potentially could be a plus frame or it could be zero and this move is i don't know what this is it, I, I don't know what that one is i feel like I've seen it in Tekken 7 where he does this and he kind of goes into a little fake. But this looks like a count it G-Cliff. And I didn't see this. I didn't see this move as well. That Yeah, that move there, that punch. Don't know what that is. And I'm seeing a spark here as well, but that might be just his hit effect. And that's a just frame. So the just frame is when you time the button specifically to hit a certain hit box, uh, hit window. So like, say for example, if I press one, one, one and I just mash it, I'm not trying to get a hit window. Um, but if you do one, one and then press it at a precise time, you will get this effect that comes out. So that's what we call just frame. Or press window, sorry, not hit window, press window. Whichever one. I like the I like that he's he's I like that his frame drops down when you hit. As you can see, it was getting wonky as well. Like it's sick. There's 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 so much detail to the stage. Look, look at you can see it's going wonky a little bit here. I didn't realize it's the first time watching trailer the trailer. And then it just drops down. And again, for the wall splat. The re wall splat, because you know in Tekken 8 it does re wall splat. It is, you know, the while standing, I think that's while standing 2 3. And then he's got this kick. I don't know what this kick is. This That kick looks so sick. Oh, yeah. That looks so sick. But can we just pay attention to how nice the stage is? Sorry, I feel like I'm going over it, but even the glass shattering. Look at the glass. Look at the effect on the glass. Like, doors, like, it's, they're all shattering. Like, it's just like the freeze frame before it actually shatters. That part is crazy. So, like, look. Look at that. And then, like, just, you know, all the flowers and the leaves just floating in the air, dropping down. Wow, look at that. And then you can see, like, let me move, let me just move my webcam for a minute. Just look at this flower coming into the shot. Like, it's, yeah, they they done really well with the stage. As much as I don't like the music, the stage actually is really nice. And it looks like this kick, this, so this kick actually spikes down. I don't think it spiked down in Tekken 7. I don't see no leads using this, but this looks nice. I didn't know Lee and Lars had an intro. It's, it's good. Okay, so one thing for the pro players to see is that while standing 2-3 in a combo does that, that kind of, I call it the lingering spin because you're in the air for a while and you're just lingering in the air. But he gives this look. You're just lingering in the air for a bit and then you get 4-4-3, four, four, which is pretty sick. And down two count hits. I think this is probably going to be plus 14. Most of these moves that give that kind of um, stun effect where you kind of go on the floor or, or, or crouch on the floor for a bit or do this. So not that. Let's be back a little bit. Yeah, those type of things, usually in Tekken 8, it seems that you're plus 14. No idea, I have no access to frame data, so I couldn't really tell you. And his 
his heat smash is a low. So that's gonna be that's gonna be quite annoying because Lee is a very fast counter hitting character. That looks like it's a just frame as well. It looks like it has a just frame input. Just from the spark. But it could be hit effect. But the thing with this heat smash is that it makes you go further back. Um, so it's not like it, they, they do the low one and it, you're close. It's like your further back, he has to run in. So yeah. And then this move as well looks like back four four. I don't know. No, not back four four. I can't. I can't remember the uh, notation for that one. But yeah, it's, this is the f double hit kick. So what is that? It had like a blue spark effect. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That could be just when he's in heat. No idea. Again, I, I need to have hands on with the character to see. He gets blazing kick after. Nice. It's actually sick that blazing kick is uh, a tornado. It gives a tornado effect or a tornado move. And the jump kick is a heat engager. Uh uh. Yeah, his combos look good. His combos look really good. <laughs> I don't get to lie, I like. I don't know if it looks like cardboard where he's stuck the cardboard to the to the side of the robot, but this looks funny. Like just the fact that obviously he's got this this bit here, that's the beard. He's got the cardboard bit here that's basically gonna be like that's his hair. And it's, you can see cellar tape or masking tape is on it as well. Like I like the de the attention to detail. And obviously the they've got Lee blurred out in the shot, it's just directed at the combo. But yeah, this is a this is great, man. This is great. I think the trailer was really good. Uh, well done to Bandai Namco for the trailer. We obviously got one more character that is Devil Jin. And I think Devil Jin is going to tie... This Devil Jin trailer is going to probably be a big trailer. I think it's probably going to tie into the story of what's going on with Tekken 8. And that is going to kind of lure us into wanting to buy the game. So I think the ne next one is going to be a serious one. And I think we should all definitely pay attention to that. It's been your boy King J. Remember to subscribe if you have subscribed. At you lot of the reason why I was probably on the commercial trailer. But if you haven't subscribed... We want to make even more greatness. So, you know, press that subscribe button. It's free, man. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And even if you don't want to, leave an emoji for engagement. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.